In the beginning of the year, the Rama Music and Arts Ministry uh, recorded their debut album project called Something Fresh and on January 18th. And uh, we had been preparing for uh, this project. Um, we started preparing in 2019. Uh, we started actually putting everything together uh, in mid-2019 in the summer. We knew that we were going to have several uh, rehearsals. Uh, different uh, members of the music and arts ministry were writing songs. We already had some songs already written and ready to record, uh, but we uh, needed more songs to fill the project and to prepare. So uh, we wanted it to be live because we wanted to actually have the actual feel of what it's like to be in our praise and worship sessions when we have services. So that was in January. And then in February, uh, we came upon our Founders Day. Uh, we were uh, celebrating uh, 18 years of ministry, Pastor Sanders and myself, uh, as founders of the ministry. Our guest speakers were uh, Pastor Julian Dangerfield of Shalom Outreach Ministries. And we had a wonderful celebration. Uh, our uh, ministry, the, our family, the Rama family, blessed us overwhelmingly that, uh, during that celebration. Uh, well, once the uh, pandemic hit Albany, of course, uh, initially, we didn't know uh, that much about it, but we were continuing to go full steam ahead. And all of a sudden, I think it was our midweek service, we had to shut down. The anointing is necessary for supernatural accomplishment. Let me, let me tell you something, smarts and hard work can make you super normal, but the anointing makes you supernatural. Two, we fight with our mouths. Faith speaks to remove obstacles. Don't say what you see, say what you believe. Don't talk about the mountain, talk to the mountain. We obviously were not able to go on to uh, the mission field in 2020. Uh, we had scheduled to be in different parts of the world, Zambia, in Africa, uh, Kenya, as well as Uganda and Ghana. We were scheduled to be in Brazil and in other parts of the world. Uh, but because of the pandemic, we were not able to go, but we were able still to support missionary work in Africa. I'm so proud uh, that through our tithes and offering, we were able to give $20,000 to Pastor Joseph Iletu and his church in the laying of their foundation for their new building. And so we are excited about seeing the finished product of this building. But we here at Raymond International Ministries were a part of providing the finances to lay the entire foundation of that building. As a pastor, um, the anointing is very, very critical. And uh, I'm anointed for what I do. Without the anointing, I would have fallen apart. Without the anointing, our church would have fallen apart. But it is the anointing, the Bible says, that lifts burdens and destroys yokes. Uh, and so I, I sensed the strength of God. I sensed his comfort, the closeness of the Holy Spirit, uh, as well as I saw how the people rose 
in a very dark time within Rama, And um, to the point where we began to make shifts as the Holy Spirit led, where we started our transformation cell groups, which has been phenomenal. So the church had to leave these walls and they went out into the homes. And these transformation cell groups uh, have been really a saving power to what God was doing here at Rainbow International Ministry. You know, we get the meal on Sunday, we get the meal on Wednesday, but these transformation groups serves as a supplement, you know, to help give us that boost to start our week off right. And this is why I believe that these transformation cells are, are so relevant and so relative in this city. I don't know who else is doing it. Matter of fact, I haven't even heard because you would have heard by now that somebody has something of this nature. So pastor being a trailblazer, being a forerunner, you know, in, within um, his scope of being, you know, a man of God and just bringing glory to God, it's an amazing thing. And I believe these transformation cell groups is exactly what God ordered on such a time as this. Uh, as the direction from Apostle Thompson with the Slack app, which we were using when we were out winning souls, as quickly as I introduced that one-on-one -on -one evangelism program, the people began to share Christ with others. People began to get saved. Baptisms throughout the week, just phenomenal. People being baptized in the Holy Spirit. Uh, people being added to the church. Another element of 2020 that I thought was phenomenal was the fact that we began to get views from all around the country and the world, and we introduced Rama Nation. And, um, People began to join the church because they saw me as their pastor. They were getting fed from the ministry. And people began to join the ministry from different parts of the country. And it's been phenomenal. Rama Nation is a part of our church as much as those who can attend on the campus itself. So we've been blessed in 2020. Our finances went to a level that it's never been. In a pandemic, we were able to sow seeds um, to give upward through peers and to the poor uh, to, to the tune of over $150,000. God has blessed us. We've never been in a stronger financial position. So in terms of our spiritual position, in terms of our position as a church, and in terms of our financial position, this has been the greatest year in the history of Raymond and National Ministries in the midst of a challenging time. So I'm thankful to God. I can't wait to see what's next in 2021. The Lord bless you.